This is a mega truck. We have to survive 100 days in the zombie apocalypse on it. Can we do it? Yes. If we find upgrades, upgrade our vehicle, fight hordes of zombies, and travel to completely dangerous locations. And we have to be ready for the fact that zombies can break blocks. My team prepared a huge map and plot to test my strength in the new 100 days of hardcore Minecraft in the zombie apocalypse. We have just appeared in a new world and I already see some zombies. And what is this? What the hell is this flying thing? Get away from me! Ah! I appeared in the zombie apocalypse. In this world, there's a huge variety of zombies. I am an evil zombie! Yeah, I know it's not funny. Let's keep going. Starting from the most common zombies, ending with invisible and even flying ones. The task for the first day was to find starting resources, build ourselves a small shelter, and of course find the very truck on which we can explore the world. So what do we have here? Some kind of arrow and two chests. Dude, look! Oh my god! After defeating this angry zombie, I continue to explore the chests. There's ammo here, bandages, a first aid kit, and a book with a quill. Welcome! Look for a repair kit. Most likely this thing is needed for our truck. Only I don't know where it is. Look! I think... I think that's it! Even my nickname is written on it! Oh my god! And there's also a zombie that's guarding it. I didn't waste any time. Despite the great danger, I decided to take a closer look. It looks awesome! Just incredible! For these 100 days this truck was specifically developed by my team but at the moment as it turned out i can't interact with the truck in any way i think we need that repair kit moreover it turned out that there was a huge horde of zombies behind the truck and i had to run away i have a feeling that i'll have to come back for the truck later okay i think i'm fine here what do we have over here after looting a few boxes and finding some more good things i began to extract the primary minecraft resources we now have a crafting table i got some more wood some cobblestone and some tools among the places where i spawned there were many different dungeons. For example, behind the trees I saw some kind of wooden building. Hopefully there won't be any surprises. Okay, if you don't check, you won't know. Honestly, I feel like there's going to be some sort of trap here. Oh, okay, if anything, we know where to go. As a result, there was no trap, only a couple of zombies who simply wanted to kill me. Yeah, I see another one. We can deal with zombies of this level pretty easily, I should remember that. It turned out to be an abandoned sawmill, so I had to look around everything all at once. And by the way, it's pretty atmospheric in here. Oh, no. I'm tired of working, I wanna sleep. I don't even know what to do with this statement. So, we'll definitely take the globe with us we'll also take the radio and the chair will not be left without attention either and what's written over here like this video ah okay oh my god this is crazy i got really scared but i found some canned soup nice Going outside, I dealt with new zombies, got some barbed wire, and went to quickly prepare a place where I could wait out the night. I wouldn't have enough time to build a whole base, so I decided to take the ruins and made a small base out of it. This is the build I got. We'll spend the night here today because I simply didn't have enough time to make a normal house. I don't know what kind of zombies are here at night. I really hope I survive. Second day, and it started with some loud screams of zombies that surrounded my base during the night. Well, what a morning, guys. Just zombies everywhere. Oh my god, how many of you are there they're even making their way up look what are you doing here you flying carrot i want to be in my truck so bad guys i need to find that repair kit i wouldn't say that the day began productively in exploring the locations because all morning i was trying to fight off the zombies that surround in my place of residence and of the good things they dropped some iron axes sea cucumbers kelp and uh, that's it and more string the first thing i wanted to do was to explore the base behind our truck this time i hoped there wouldn't be a horde of zombies and that we could safely explore everything. I hope that we'll pick up this truck soon. Oh, it even says 100 days here. Okay, zombies, this truck will be mine. I see one, and I see another one. Oh, they're really fast. Oh, 1 HP, 1 HP, 1 HP. Okay, slow down. I began to carefully check everything. I found some iron, coal, and even some tools. But the most important thing was that there was really good loot in one of the buildings. Potato statue? Seriously? I want to note how interactive these decorations really are. My team did a great job this time. Rifle! Look! A note and some kind of chest plate. Oh, okay. Someone left this truck for you. This is a complete home on wheels. With it, you can go on so-called journeys, but not only that, you can still upgrade it and unlock various upgrades. If you haven't found a repair kit yet, then I advise you to look for garages. Maybe it'll be in there. Hold up. Are you telling me that I can upgrade the truck? Yes, the truck upgrades is a big part of the video. Thanks to them, we'll be able to unlock new gameplay features. For example, searching for diamonds using a radar and much more. But most importantly, we'll be able to travel to very 
remote locations on it, where we would simply not survive without this truck. I recorded 100, 200, 300 days in the zombie apocalypse two years ago, but the things that await us in this survival simply cannot be compared to everything that came before. Even on the second day, there's already zombies that can break blocks. In addition to this, such new things have come, I will better talk about them later, because they will just shock you. Evening was approaching, I decided to loot everything that was on this base and I even found a cool piece of armor. Not a bad set of armor, although considering how strong the zombies are here, given that they'll constantly become stronger, I don't think this will save me for a long time. For the remaining time, I continued dismantling the ruins and I already started making my base from the mine blocks. I started building my house, friends. So far, we have this layout. I also drove and dismantled some ruins. I think that will make our base right here. It's day number three and it's time to go caving. Good morning, I'm searching for a cave and I really hope that I'll find it soon. Oh, and here it is. Only a big surprise was waiting for me right at the entrance. Oh, oh my god, what kind of zombie is this? Look at how many huge monsters there are. As I say, first of all, survival is difficult here because of the variety of zombies. You might think, how would these zombies even get to you? But they have a superpower. They can create other zombies, especially those that fly. Using barbed wire, I managed to survive, and even then, barely. Somehow, we made it through. Let's go to the cave. After all, I didn't fight the monsters in vain, because I was able to get a huge amount of resources. Well, what can I say guys, the cave was successful. 8 gold, 48 coal, and 14 iron. In my opinion, that's a good result for a first time caving session. At the end of day 3, I tried to finish my house, so that it at least had windows, so I made a floor, and also a little barbed wire protection. I really hope that this helps even a little bit. Day 4. Survival is survival, but we all want to see that truck in action. As the note said, I need to look for some garages where I can most likely find a repair kit. But I didn't know where to start looking, so I just packed up and went on my first trip. As usual, a bunch of zombies, and by the way, there's a gas station. And there's also some kind of interesting building. Inside the ruins, I found a scope, which I immediately put on my rifle. But this is not the most important thing. Iron pickaxe and Siemens truck key. I think that we can finally get into the truck. Oh, oh my god, the door opened. Look at this salon. It even says semen on the dashboard and there's purple lights. I can even turn the steering wheel, look. But despite this, I still couldn't ride it. We needed to find this repair kit, so I hit the road again. At the gas station, I was very warmly greeted by some big-eyed zombies casting their spells. And at the gas station itself, I didn't find anything interesting. Only toilets. The next location was a zombie supermarket. And it's called that because there was a huge number of them. How are there so many of them? Okay, it looks like it's more serious than I thought. But I have a golf club. Well, zombies, let's play golf. Oh, I forgot that they can open doors. Oh my god. And everything went as usual, not according to plan, because I ran out of ammo. By some miracle, I ran into the supermarket and it was much easier to deal with the rest. Oh my god, ammo, nice! Let's quickly reload, oh my god. Okay, one is down, Ooh, great. Okay, we dealt with the zombies. More ammo and green apples. Well, let's look at the result. I found a lot of ammo and a lot of food. I love to eat, so I consider the mission successful. Let's collect some more of this barbed wire. It's been four days already. We built the initial base, and we even went into the cave and looted a couple of supermarkets and gas stations. But so far, we haven't been able to activate the main thing in the survival, and I would have given up by now if it wasn't for day five. Wait, who is this? Oh my god, it seems to be an NPC. I think I should follow him. I'm not sure if he's friendly or not. As it turned out, it was a scout for parts. I'll give an example. In in order to get to the end portal in a regular Minecraft playthrough, you need an ender pearl to show you the way. It's pretty similar here. The map that my team prepared was very big, and finding garages here is not something that is problematic, it is a rarity. So if we're attentive, we'll be able to notice these scouts who always keep their way to the nearest garage. At that time, I absolutely didn't know this, but I decided to follow the scout to the very end. If you are wondering what will happen if you get very close to the scout, I will tell you. In my case, he just disappeared. But here's what he brought me to. In my opinion, this looks like a garage, although it may just be like a normal location. It turned out that this was the same garage that we needed, but I approached it with caution because there were guests there. Garage guard? Uh, hello? Oh, green nicknames are good, they're friendly. Garage manager. 
We took control of this garage. The mutants and zombies couldn't take it, so it's safe here, but mostly they're very dangerous. You won't get an upgrade just like that, and sometimes you have to try very hard to get something. But in this case, you can safely go through everything. It's all under control, bro. Thanks, bro. I was very worried if there was a repair kit in this garage, and I was very lucky because it was right there. Repair kit! Wait, that's the repair kit! We found it! Let's go! There is also a cactus keychain. I don't know, I can't put it anywhere, I don't know what to do with it. From the garage, I went straight to the truck, hoping it would finally unlock. Friends, I do not believe that right now we'll be able to finally launch it. Let's deal with the zombies first, because they're just everywhere. Oh wow, they actually do so much damage. Well guys, let's try it. Let's go, we're going. Oh my god guys, I'm driving my own truck, look at how cool it is. Let's park near our house. As soon as I got out the truck, two items fell right into my inventory. Wait, semen flag and some book. I didn't have any book with me. You can only add an upgrade to your truck next to your flag. The flag must be placed at its base, and after the first installation, it'll be possible to change its location no further than 40 blocks. Well, let's put it on the roof or something. At the time, I couldn't even imagine what the consequences of setting this flag would be. Almost every morning, with rare exceptions, it began with zombie attacks. I spent a huge amount of time trying to deal with them. So, let's build a fence. To begin with, I needed a huge amount of stone, so I went into the mines with a pickaxe. It's good that there were enough of them near my house, so I spent the whole day in the mine. And the next day, I started building the fence. So, this is the fence that is starting to appear. It's good that at least this iron mesh is not difficult to craft. By evening, my fence was ready. I can say that it looked quite simple, but very beautiful. This fence took me so so much time. Oh my god, they can still go through barbed wire or what? Okay, this thing should be finalized, but overall, a huge number of zombies cannot get to me in any sort of way. Here too, we have look, my friends, acquaintances, friends, and subscribers. But of course, flying zombies were a big problem, because they quietly flew wherever they wanted, and I don't know what to do with them yet. Basically, I was wondering what kind of keychain this is, and then I thought maybe this cactus keychain is for an upgrade for our truck. I'm not sure what it's gonna improve, but let's try it out. At first, I was running around my truck trying to find where I can add this upgrade, but then I realized it should be installed inside it. And look, this line over here appeared. Oh, wow, here it is. This is our first upgrade, check it out. While I was sorting things at home, a notification popped up in the chat, which scared me a little bit. The truck is now on the move, and unfortunately, the zombie virus too. You didn't know, but there's classified data in the truck that needs to be delivered to some place that's classified. Go on a journey, fight zombies, and you'll understand everything. By the way, have you tried going inside the truck? What? At this point, I no longer knew what could surprise me. Oh wow, am I just inside the truck? I don't understand anything. I think I can just make my mini base here. This survival is picking up steam. From the first glance, it seems that this is an ordinary world with zombies, but in reality, everything is much more complicated. We have to explore a huge number of locations if we want to complete the survival. The zombies will get bigger and bigger, they'll become stronger and stronger. The map of course will change. It would seem that we are helpless, but there is one huge thing in the survival that should help us. Well, Minecraft travelers, today we're gonna go on our first expedition. To do this, let's gather some things and put them right inside our truck. Having built up my small motorhome, I began my journey. I have absolutely no idea where we're going, so I'll just go wherever my eyes are looking, and I hope we'll get somewhere soon. Look, we have a factory on the right or something. Let's park here and see what's inside. It was an abandoned factory and there were new types of monsters in it. Oh, some new zombies. I don't know those. Okay, they, they have wings on their back. Look. Okay, they can even fly. Look at that. So, guys, who would have thought that I would have to survive in this zombie apocalypse? And it wasn't so simple to deal with the zombies because some of them were flying, some of them going around, and some of them jumping. There are a lot of flying zombies here. Okay, this is just insane. Where did they all come from? At some point, I tried to start destroying them, but everything was in vain, because they just appeared at this location endlessly. There's just an infinite number of them appearing here. Okay, obviously I can't just deal with them. And so, I decided to quickly loot all the boxes and finally get out of here. Definitely one of those locations where I didn't want to spend time here. And as a result, I found some ammo and first aid kits. I should have gotten out of here sooner. Well, on the other hand, we looted a huge amount of ammo. And now we just need to go, my little cactus. So long, zombies. So far, I was feeling pretty safe inside my truck. So we continued on this forgotten road. So friends, we're driving along some road. Oh, I see some kind of tower. Let's stop near it. Let's see, there might be something in there. What a cool truck though, look at it. So what do we have here? Oh, a box? 
On the tower, I found exactly the same rifle as mine, plus ammo, a camouflage helmet, and a scope that zooms in way better than mine. This rifle is the same as ours, by the way, but we can put this scope on it, and this scope gives plus 5 to the speed when aiming. Well, that's really good, way better. The sun is already setting, so I think I'll just peacefully sleep in my truck. Because, I mean, it is a mobile home, and tomorrow we'll continue on our way. It's actually amazing how cool this truck story is. By the way, I took beans with me, I left them quietly in here, and I can just eat them inside the truck. There's only one small issue with sleeping inside the truck. In the morning, a huge number of zombies appear around you, who just want to devour you. As you can see, there is a slight downside to sleeping in this truck, because I got attacked by zombies, they left me with 3 HP, look at this horde that's following me. On my zombie path, I saw a small farm, and I decided to immediately go there, because most likely there's gonna be some wheat or potatoes. Well, let's see what fate has in store for us this time. I see zombies. Maybe it's some kind of trap, of course. Who's that standing there? Is that Hero Brian? Look, some unusual sheep. And not only sheep, pigs too. Farmer Simon. <laughs> Okay. The zombie virus has taken over my entire farm, and I need help. Someone needs to save my animals. Can you help? If so, then listen. We need an antidote. It can be found in one of the bunkers. Here are the coordinates. I really hope you succeed. Well, okay, saving animals is a noble cause, so let's try. There was also a two-story farmer's house next to the barn. No, of course, I never had the thought of becoming a farmer. But now, in the zombie apocalypse, looting a little stuff is definitely the right thing to do. Look at what I found. That's pretty good. Zombies, if you hear this, get out of here. I am very dangerous. <laughs> Yeah. Barbed wire and even look, traps! We'll put them near the house, the zombies will definitely get trapped there. On the second floor I found some cabbage and rice, and on that note I decided to head back to my truck and then go back home. So far I'm not ready to go on long trips, but in the future we'll definitely do it. Remember that very flag that I placed? It turned out to be a very serious flag. Besides that thanks to him I can improve the truck, but also it can finish my survival in a second. If suddenly, under some circumstances, the zombie breaks this flag, then the game ends and I lose. Everything would be fine, but it turns out that every 10 days, a horde of zombies will attack the point where the flag is set. That is my base. And every 10 days, it will become stronger and stronger. This is a huge horde of zombies! Oh my god, wow, are they breaking my fence? Oh my god, it's all out of control. I don't know how I can contain them. If I knew that this situation could happen, I would have defended my base better. But now, it's just too late. Some zombies managed to break the fence. Ah, uh, they're making my way into my house! What would I do without this barbed wire? Ah, uh, I am not gonna let them through inside my base. The house was protected, and I was even able to go outside. But the horde continued. One way to deal with this horde was barbed wire, which dealt a lot of damage to zombies. I was doing my best, using all my skill just to defeat these zombies. Guys, this is insane. I don't know how we managed, but we managed to survive. Now I will definitely take the defense of my base way more seriously. Indeed, the defense of my base was pretty weak for the zombies, but I couldn't even imagine that on day 10 they would already be able to break blocks. The damage was small, but repair was still needed, which I decided to do on day 11. I patched up all the holes in the fence, fixed my house, and proceeded with my first base upgrade. It was a truck shed. I did it all day and all night. It was overcast at times, dark at times, but the shed turned out really cool. Well friends, this is how our garage turned out. We are coming in. Yeah, there's just a fishing rod sticking out, but otherwise the garage is just great. Once we get out of the truck, we have these steps over here, and over here I made a small fence. And in my opinion, it looks just awesome. I also made a small path to make everything look more natural. I finally made a farm, so far only wheat. And I also improved my house. And here what it all looks like. The first thing that came to my mind to protect myself better from the zombies was a moat around my base, which I was building for the entirety of day 13. The second idea that came to my mind is to borrow the turrets from those garage guards. I hope they don't mind. Guys, let's be honest. Wait, let me eat. Guys, well, you understand, you don't have this flag that zombies run to every 10 days, so I'll just borrow borrow some of these turrets and I'll definitely return it to you soon. On the way home, I decided to focus my attention on the crashed plane. As for this plane, I passed by it but I never looted it. Maybe we should try and see what's out there. I completely forgot about this mp5 that I have it. Okay, well basically- Oh! Oh! oh, oh what is that huge monster? Get away! Get away! Get away from me! I was not ready for this. Oh my god, why are you so tough? Phew. It dropped a dark plate, dark ingot, and titanium ingot. Great! So, ammo, canned beans, and desert eagle. Oh, 
Oh wow, what a cool animation! Also a note, great, we actually haven't seen a note in so long. They say if you go in the direction of coordinates 2000 by 2000, you can find the first journey. And I thought that there were only forests and fields, but there's a real desert. Journey? But the coolest thing I found was not a note, it was a truck upgrade, even though I thought they were only found in garages. We managed to find an upgrade, let's go! Now let's run home and be sure to upgrade it. Moreover, I think that tomorrow we'll go to that very desert. In any case, we'll just see what's out there. In short, I have this thing, and as I understand it, I should put it right here in the front of our truck. So, let's try to put it on. Oh my god! If any of you are going to complain in the comments that this truck doesn't look like the truck from a zombie apocalypse, what are you gonna tell me? now. And on day 15, I collected as many resources as possible in my truck and then set towards the desert. Look, zombies, they can't even catch up to me. As I understand it, we need to go along this path. There are some ruins here, by the way, look. I hope that this is the road that leads to the desert. But if anything, my truck can go pretty much anywhere. I had to drive both during the evening and night, and at some point the road just simply disappeared. I feel like I won't be able to pass here, there's only water there. I think I'll have to go around. It's a bit creepy to drive at night though. But despite all the difficulties, by day 16 I was finally able to reach that very desert. Where even are we? The road just ends here. Wait, I think I crushed something. Let's go back a little bit. Here we have a sign, dead end. That's all for now. Oh wait, there's a box here. Water treatment equipment. And here apparently I can place it. Oh, oh wow, these are just barrels of water. Okay, I don't know how this gameplay will help us, but I'm just gonna let them stay here, why not? This dead end didn't even stop me. I walked a little forward and saw some buildings on the horizon. Time to test our truck and see how it can go off road. The location on the horizon was filled with zombies. Our most important task right now is to be very careful because the zombies, they're just coming and coming. And the ammo as usual is nowhere to be found. I'll just collect some of this barbed wire because it's gonna help us build our favorite fences. As well as everything for the design of our base. Oh, oh, oh! Get away from me, get away from me! Wait, there's more! It felt like the zombies were way stronger in this location, but there was much more loot in the boxes. The most important thing is to not stand still and constantly maneuver, placing barbed wire along the way and thinking how to deceive them. Because in fact, the zombies have no tactics, their task is to simply get to you directly. So we're already inside, guys. These zombies are coming from everywhere, look! So far, I've used more ammo than I found. However, there were many positives. Firstly, a huge amount of barbed wire with which we can protect our base. And in general, I felt that there was way more loot and it became way better. Which means that in theory, in the next location, it's gonna become even better. I didn't wait for anything and decided to keep going. On the way, we saw some palm trees and some ruins. Oh wow, this is interesting. Soon it's gonna be night, by the way, but despite this... But firstly, we got to see some cool palm trees and there's more ruins here. Here. I really hope that there's gonna be something cool here. Wood, pumpkin pie, and a bottle of water. Wait, come on, four stacks of ammo, an AK, and a scope. Wait, I need to equip all of this, wait a second. My inventory was already full and the day was coming to an end. I decided to go back to my truck and sort out all my things as well as wait for the morning. Desert, poisonous scorpions, prickly cacti, oasis, pyramids and quicksand. Until the end, I still didn't realize what a cool location we were in. It had one problem though. There was no navigation and no roads. At least some signs of civilization and loot had to be looked for with closed eyes. In the morning, it turned out that in this desert, it was necessary to constantly drink water, and I had absolutely no water with me. In this regard, the water purifier on the truck really saved me. With an empty bottle, you could come up to it and click with your right mouse button, and it's gonna be filled with water. During this day, I still found one interesting place. It was a populated village. Yeah, this is some kind of village, look. Oh, merchant! The merchant had some items which I could buy, but what got my attention was the barbed wire, cause it looked like an upgrade for my truck, and it cost quite a lot. I didn't have all this gold, so I decided to return home. In addition to that, it seems that we've already lingered in this desert for way too long. New day, friends. As you can see, I'm already home. What can I say? All the weed grew while I was away. I want to remind you that in two days, as it turns out, there's gonna be another attack by the zombies. So we need to defend ourselves. Because I feel like these turrets will not be enough. My best solution was to put barbed wire everywhere, because I have been planning to do this for a very long time. Of course, you can say that this base is not protected at all. But then I'll have a question for you. What do you think is a secure base? Where else can you see such a quantity of barbed wire? I hope that the zombies won't get through this time. 
On day 19, I decided to go to a cave for some gold. Because as you can remember, we can buy an upgrade for a truck from a merchant. And for this, we needed a lot of gold. Day 20. Today, I was supposed to be attacked by a horde of zombies. This time, thanks to the barbed wire and the turrets, we did much better. I calmly defended my base, but it was clear that if every 10 days the horde was getting stronger and stronger, we would not be able to survive just like that. So we had to look for new options for upgrades. Hello everybody, I'm Z-Magic, this truck behind me looks fantastic. Day 21, we were able to safely defend our base thanks to those turrets. Honestly, in order to get to the desert and pick up that thing from the merchant, we don't have enough iron for now, because I only have 18 pieces. But instead of going to the cave now for gold, I went to go somewhere interesting. Driving back to my house, out of the corner of my eye, I noticed something big and quite strange. Why not check it out today? It seems to me that I saw something strange, and here it is. Look, it's a huge zombie. I don't know what scares me more, the fact that he's huge or the fact that he doesn't move. Okay, well, for now, let's leave our truck and go take a look. If it's going to be a boss, I don't know how we're gonna handle it. Look, there's some armor in here. And by the way, I ended up in some other ruins as well. So, the armor protects a lot less, but it looks like I'm a viking. Oh, oh my god, he looks just really creepy. Most likely, this is a boss. I'm 100% sure. Oh, there's even an axe. Look, looks pretty cool. Look, it's not even attacking me. I don't even know what this is. I even found an aquarium and I don't know why the zombie is still sitting in place. It's hard to imagine that he's even here. It doesn't even matter either way. In any case, he's just standing in place and poses no threat. So here's the secret that I showed you. Remember that same farmer whose animals we promised to save? He gave the coordinates of some bunker and today on day 22, I decided to go there. I think that our truck won't be able to go further, so we're gonna have to go on foot. Well, let's do it. What can we expect from this bunker? Most likely a huge number of zombies, some levels, tests or something like that. Oh, I found it. Here it is. Here's the entrance to that very bunker. And of course, there were a lot of zombies. I would even say that there were zombie skeletons. After spending all my ammo on them, I finally went inside. Here it is, the elevator. What? Banana guide? W what is this? Banana guard? Banana cook? Where did I end up? Okay, I just need to eat a little bit. Despite all the strangeness of what is happening, there were really good resources in the bunker. A lot of first aid kits, a lot of ammo, and much more. The real fun started when I met the banana technician. Banana people are telling you that the transformer is broken. You have to collect adapters, and only then it would be possible to go down to the lower floor. And I think that's the same transformer. And judging by the missing parts, four adapters must be inserted. And we already have one. So it remains to find three more adapters. And this is what I did in the next five minutes. What? There are four Zemans? And I- and I'm the fifth one? Banana scientists, have you been developing some kind of portal to Zeman's world? Oh my god, look, they're exactly my copies. You're not crazy, Banana Man, are, are you? Or am I crazy because I see them? All adapters were inserted and it was possible to go down to the lower floor. But there was one more room which I haven't explored yet. And what I found there will surprise you very much. Okay, this is some kind of office. It looks a little creepy. And here's a note. Could this world be a simulation? and semen is a program. Suddenly the zombies are not real and the truck is a hologram. Um, I don't understand anything. We're finally starting to find some notes about this world or is it just some kind of joke? I'll have to keep looking. Maybe I'll find something else of value in here. This thought shocked me a little. I thought that we we're just surviving the zombie apocalypse with a truck, discovering locations and trying to get to 100 days. But as usual, surviving on the Zeman channel is much more than it seems at first glance. This note hints that there is some kind of plot and more Moreover, some kind of meaning where everything around could be a simulation. When I went down to the bottom floor and looked around a little bit, I noticed that there was some kind of room that had a huge number of computers and some kind of digital screens. It was there that I found what I was looking for. And here look, some kind of box, a farmer's quest, a healing potion, excellent, a raider's hammer, not bad, and some kind of note. Far from here, there is an edge of the world where the program can no longer read the code due to the lack of data. If you get there, you can get answers and at least clues about this world. And these coordinates are quite far away. Zombie apocalypse inside a program? So far, everything was strange and weird, up until I found the second note. We've studied the zombie spawning anomaly and it's hard to tell, because we haven't found the beginning. There is no information about where they came from. What is more strange, no one can answer this question. <laughs> 
After the second note, everything became even more weird. Look, thanks to the stairs, we were able to get into the security booth. And accordingly, here we went into the bunker. Let's loot the last boxes here and get out of here. We will return to the plot and the edge of the world a little bit later. The coming days will be a surprise for you, because I'm going to invite a guest to my place. The guest was my subscriber, and right now, he will appear in my world. On the horizon, I see some kind of interesting person. And now I'm going to introduce you to him. Hello! Come on, come on, get in before the zombies kill us here. My name is Yaroslav. I've been watching Zeman for two or three years. To be honest, it was a big shock for me that I got into the video. And right now, I'm sitting in a Discord call with this young man. <laughs> And I'm ready to shoot. Today I wanted to spend the whole day with a subscriber, let him ride a truck, fight zombies, and show the world in which I'm surviving. And check out what awaits you under this shed. Oh my god! Indeed, why not give your subscriber a ride in this massively cool truck? Well, get behind the wheel! Great! Oh, oh, I, I, I did it! I'll close the door behind you and I'll go sit in the passenger seat. My subscriber and I are now going on a ride through the zombie apocalypse on this magnificent truck. So, this gas station is the most important part in Zeman's video. I'm ready to reveal to you one secret about this gas station. Are you ready? Yes! By the way, I've been here before. Oh, okay. It was lots of fun. During this day, we were even fighting zombies. Come on, come on, you got it! I'm reloading! Well, I think that you already can be initiated into real survivalists among the 100 days of Zeman. Uh, uh I see. I'm super happy. There was also a hospital nearby which I haven't explored yet. I decided to loot it with my subscriber. There were a few zombies near the hospital, but since there were two of us, we quickly dealt with them. Oh, the zombies! The zombies are coming! Uh, 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 zombies! Look, here's some kind of car. Cool. So, I found some kind of mask. I'm gonna give it to you. Uh, come on, hold it. P put it on. Try it on. Okay, let's see. Now that's what I'm talking about. Until the end of this day, we were looking for loot. We actually found quite a lot. It was getting late, so we decided to head back to the base. To be honest, we got a very cool subscriber. Tell us how you felt about surviving in Zeman's world. Well, as well as some other comments. I enjoyed my stay with Zeman very much. I talked to Vova himself. I looked at the mods. I looked at everything. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much. And Zeman was with you. And now we're going on to the next day let's go day 25 it's finally time to complete that animal quest we cured the animals and for this that same farmer simon gave me a huge amount of upgrades for my truck i immediately ran to install them we have as many as three upgrades friends the first is a rear bumper let's put it on dude it looks so cool so i guess so that the zombies don't damage the truck if they surround it Surround it. Side armor. Yeah, I feel like it's something like that. Wow, looks totally cool. And a fixed gun. Oh my god, it goes on the roof and a cannon on the roof, guys. Let's go. On day 26, I thought that my truck was already upgraded enough and I had enough resources to go to the edge of the world, exactly where it was set in the bunker itself. The most important thing was to return before day 30, because on day 30, a new horde would attack my base. Day 27, we entered the location. Instead of regular dirt, there was lava everywhere and there were serious cracks and splits everywhere. Here we have arrived. The road breaks off over here. Guys, this is an incredible incredibly beautiful location, but we need to somehow keep going. And right there is the continuation of the road. Okay, now I need to grab some blocks and try to build a bridge. At the beginning of survival, I thought that I would really survive among forests and meadows. But here, when I see absolutely atmospheric locations, I understand how well this survival is really made. I can't say that it turned out amazing, but the most important thing is that we can drive safely. Okay, let's just try carefully. Okay, just gently move, move, move. The main thing is to not fall, friends. Everything. Okay, that's it. We passed. Oh, that was tough. It's a very beautiful location. Look, there's steam everywhere. It really looks like the end of the world. All sorts of crevices everywhere. Here's a dangerous moment here, guys. We're going through. And here I think that Minecraft is lagging because the map is not loading any further. And what? The world is not rendering anymore? But this turned out to be not entirely true. I understand, guys. This isn't lag. This is the end of the world. If you're wondering what will happen next, then be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, because the next episode will be released very soon. That is all guys, Zeman was with you, bye bye!